Howdy. So my research involves recycling carbon fibers using electricity. So let me start by introducing carbon fibers. Imagine black silk threads, which are five times stronger than steel and twice as light as aluminum. That is what carbon fibers are, and because of their remarkable properties, they're used in several industries, especially in the automobile industry and the aerospace industry. But how are they used in these industries? They're used in these industries in the form of composites. You can imagine composites to be similar to our bodies. So the carbon fibers make up the bones or the skeleton of the body, and they provide structure. And what forms the flesh is what is equivalent to the resins. Now, once these resins are given a particular shape, they remain that way forever. So what happens to these composites over time? So over time, these resins deteriorate, but the carbon fibers remain intact. So that brings us to the next question. How do we dispose of these composites? Most of these composites end up in landfills. And carbon fibers are very expensive to manufacture. So what's happening right now is 30% of all carbon fibers that are manufactured per year end up in landfills. This is where my research comes in. So I wanted to create a sustainable method to recycle these carbon fibers. Other researchers have been trying to come up with solvents that can dissolve this resin to extract these carbon fibers. But most of these solvents are harmful to the environment. Other researchers also use ovens to provide heat to the resins and degrade these resins. But ovens occupy large volumes, and they also consume a lot of energy. So what did we do? I pass an electric current through these carbon fiber composites, and the carbon fibers transfer this heat that is generated to the surrounding resins, and the resins degrade. Now the question is, do the properties of the carbon fibers remain intact? And what I found was that the chemical and mechanical strength of these carbon fibers remain intact even after recycling them this way. Then I proceeded to make composites using these recycled carbon fibers. Now what I found was that the strength of these recycled composites was about 90% the same as those composites made using brand new carbon fibers. I also proceeded to see how different carbon fibers having different conductivities show different rates of heating in these electric fields. Overall, I have developed a sustainable green and clean method to use electricity to recycle these carbon fibers. Thank you so much.